So if you didn't hear, there was recently an exploit that not only allowed you to block updates from your Amazon Fire TV device, but also stop Amazon from blocking different third-party apps. And this included different custom launchers, which means you can now recustomize your Fire TV screen. And this would also stop future updates as well, which was nice. As you know, Amazon, of course, wants to patch this as soon as possible. However, it looks like Troy Point has come out with maybe one of the smartest methods I've seen to blocking Amazon updates. I wouldn't say for sure in the future, but it's, it's definitely one of the more foolproof ones uh, that I think have come out with. Now, I want to talk about what type of devices you'll be able to do, to do this on because a lot of people are curious. Now, any future released Fire TV devices, we're talking about if they come out with a brand new Fire TV stick, you probably won't be able to do this on, straight up. But if there's any devices such as a Fire TV Cube or you know devices that have already been created by Amazon, they're sitting in their warehouse and they have the current version of Fire OS on it, you should be good because we're going to block Amazon updates before it gets updated on your new device. Because as you know, while you're setting up your brand new Fire TV device, typically an update is pushed and you can't do anything about it. Well, this seems to be the best method to do something about it. So we're gonna walk through some of the steps just so you can get a general idea of what's going on here. Now, if you're new to the channel, I go by UG Tech and I try to help people like you right there, you watching, save money on streaming services and le yes, learn how to unlock your devices and gain control back because really devices, when you buy them, they shouldn't be restricted any more than when you first purchase them. And that's what Amazon's been doing lately. I don't like it, you don't like it. And if you guys also don't know, the Fire TV Stick Select is released in four days. I get back the day that it's released, but I have a tattoo appointment. So I'll be doing a quick video on it that day, as quick as possible, as quick as I can make it. Um, but I'll be doing a full review a few days later, a little bit more detailed on, uh, I think, more what the device is about than just you know a basic review on it. So get ready for that. All right, let's get into today's video. So Troy Point's method, again, we're using his video. I also linked his video down below, so all props to him. Uh, his method is very interesting because instead of blocking it using like ADB on your uh, device, some sort of connection, you're actually blocking the update URLs via your router. So for this method, you will need some sort of third-party router, probably not your uh, you know, stock internet service provider modem is going to work. So if you have a router, what you have to do is go to your router's access page. So this is typically where you can adjust your router details, you know, change your internet, a bunch of other things on it. Um, so depending on what your brand is, you have to look on how to access your router's access page. Now, once you have the access page, most routers, and yes, you can do this on pretty much all of them, have the ability to block certain URLs. So once you find that blocking capability, and you have deny on here, you'll be able to block it via entering these three update URLs. And this is where essentially when your device is connected to your internet, your Fire TV device, this is where that update is being pulled from, which means when these URLs are blocked via your main access, your device cannot update, which is great because you don't want it to update. Now, it's not saying these will always be the access points for Amazon's updates, but they are right now. So if you want, you can pause it right here. Let me go forward a little bit so his mouse has moved. And you can write down these URLs. And I guess I can also put them in the description down below so you can copy and paste them. But essentially, once you block these, when you're setting up your device, so let's go forward a little bit, and we're doing the setup process right here, your Amazon Fire TV device will not be able to update. So instead, you'll have whatever operating system version comes on it instead whatever the Fire TV OS version is, which means your device will not update, and now you can do the exploit. So if Amazon patches that exploit, you're still going to be able to do it, which is what we want. We want to be able to install third-party apps. <clears throat> we want to be able to install launchers. We want to be able to install all that stuff. Now, the rest of Troy Point's video is pretty much just going over that install process. So if you guys aren't aware of it, I will link his original video down below, plus I'll link my original video uh, right above here. So you guys can click on that and follow the exploit. It just involves you having basically, I'm not gonna go over the whole thing, but essentially you're going to have an ADB connection. You're gonna install Launcher Manager and through Launcher Manager, they've added the ability to unblock or block, I guess, Amazon's capability 
of blocking third-party apps and also their ability for future updates. Because once you do this and you have that off, you shouldn't have to worry about future updates and your device will be good for the near future anyways. And you know, with the Fire TV Select coming out, we don't know if they're gonna come out with another Fire OS version device eventually. We're not sure yet. Um, we don't know, actually I think they changed the name of Fire OS. I think the Fire TV Select is moving to that. Anyways, we don't know what is gonna happen. So this at least means the device that you own is going to stay yours. You're gonna be able to continue to use it how you want. They won't be able to further block third-party apps and you're just gonna to continue to have full access. So once you have those disabled, he's easily able to use a custom launcher. So if we go forward here a little bit, I don't know if he actually shows it in here, but this is his custom launcher, launcher here and he's able to access it and yeah, just pretty much use a custom launcher which has been blocked on Fire TV devices for years now. So that's pretty much everything today, guys. Now, like I said, Fire TV Select video is coming next week. I also have a few tech reviews coming up, so we're gonna do a few more of those on the channel. I got a brand new projector from Anchor, the P1, which has the first ever to have high quality removable speakers on them, removable wireless speakers, really cool. We also have uh, Eufy permanent lights coming up, which are like Christmas lights, Halloween lights, all types of lights that stay up 24 seven, 365 days a year. And we have a scooter review, a really powerful, really high quality uh, electric scooter. It's actually pretty cool. Now, if you guys wanna support the channel and you've been watching me for a while now, a really great really way of doing that is just heading down below in the description here, clicking on this IP Vanish link and purchasing it. YouTube is paying creators like me a lot less money, which means I rely on people like you to continue to make free content for you, right? All this content I make, even a lot of these reviews are unpaid. You know, every once in a while, I'll get a sponsored video, but not very often. So uh, just by purchasing IP Vanish, it keeps me alive, it keeps me going, and it allows me to continue to create content for you. And you also get something out of it. The best part is, is if you purchase it, you don't like it, just cancel it and get all your money back within 30 days. And they're giving you three gigabytes of eSIM data with it which means you get a little bit of extra data if you're out of town or let's say you run out on your current plan. It's just a great extra little bonus to have. Um, and yeah, that's a nice bonus from IP Vanish. Also, if you don't know, my Instagram has been growing where I do all sorts of tech reviews. So if you're more interested in tech and new products that are being released, I do tech reviews every single month, new releases, new products all the time. So go over on Instagram and follow me at Upgrade Guy Tech, where you're gonna get some brand new products and you'll get my honest reviews on them. I also have my brand new channel linked here, Bad Tech, which is all about reviewing products and being very critical of them. So if you wanna see some new tech reviews, you can click here, check them out. Uh, I think you guys will like some of these. They're actually really well done. Channel's still growing, but hopefully by this time next year, we're three times the size. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like always, subscribe down below. I'll see you guys later.